today we have the M48 patent on Brickmania TV. That was a bit different than a regular intro. Does it work? Yeah, I think that works. Cody. Yes, sir. You got the M48 patent. I do have the M48 patent. We have been waiting for a long time for this kit. That's what I've been told. Yeah. It was tons of fun. It's my first tank, actually. Cool. Um, so the, the M48 was used primarily in Vietnam, or at least that's what it's most known for. Sure. Uh, it is the third tank to be officially named after General George S. Patton. There's the, the George S. Patton? The. <laughs> so there's the M46 patent, the M47 patent, and then the M48. This guy right here. Cool. So I guess you would call this version the M48A3 tank. Ah, um, nice. They replaced the gasoline V12 air-cooled engine with a diesel V12 air-cooled engine. Cool. Because the gasoline engines would catch on fire if they got shot. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess. Or, they, or they had a lot of problems with that. <laughs> Same with the hydraulic fluid they used for the guns. It was all flammable, more flammable than diesel. So, so. I guess that's a good choice. Yeah. <laughs> and since they cool. changed the engine, it almost doubled its effective range in combat. Oh man, I hit the guy. <laughs> man down. M48 uh, was the last tank to have a 90 millimeter cannon in it. Uh, later replaced by the M60 tank, which had a bigger turret and a 105 gun. Wow. So that's pretty big. Nice. The command turret has a 50 caliber machine gun mounted inside of it. All right. And it can rotate. And a little hatch and there for the guy. He just sits in place, right? Or is he actually his legs? Well, he down? sits. He can stand or he can sit in there. Cool. It keeps about the same place. This is important. This is. There we go. Cool, huh? Or he sits. Sits. They actually would used to sit. This would double as kind of like a chair, the hatch. Oh, would. Cool. So they would sit in there, and they would oftentimes they would take the 50 caliber. <laughs> seems awfully high. Yeah, I know, it doesn't actually. I mean, <laughs> in real life, you'd be sitting closer. A little closer. So that's why I just put them in the turret. Cool. But a lot of times they would take the 50 cal out of the turret, put it on top of the turret, which you can do. I left a stud open for that. You'll just have to buy your own different 50 cal. machine gun. The actual, right. the whole thing. We just give you the barrel. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of cool how it, it mounts on there just with the little Brick Arms monopod. Yeah. Yes. It's fun. It's playable. Yeah. And then there's also a hatch oh, for oh, the gunner. Oh. Yeah. Right on. <clears throat> and they would give him, usually give him a, a 50 cal, but I threw the M60 in there just because it's iconic. It's Vietnam. Right. Cool. Everyone knows the M60. Everybody. <laughs> Um, one figure comes with this this kit. One figure, one tank commander. Uh, some other cool features. He's got the the searchlight. Is also an infrared sensor. Oh. Um, they added onto the tanks just the before giant they. TV on the front of their tank. Yeah, that's basically what it looks like. The figure has leg printing, 360 degrees on the legs. It's the same as the Vietnam grunt, right? Right, except for the torso is not printed. Right. So we just put a saw vest on there because that's a pretty close approximation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cool. Yes. Um, so they, these didn't really have tank on tank combat, not much sure. tank on tank combat in Vietnam. Uh, they're mostly just for personnel support. Uh, so a cool thing I discovered apparently they've had this type of tank round for a long time but an M336 canister round, nicknamed oh. the Beehive, is basically a, a shotgun shell <laughs> that they right. put in the main gun. Uh, yeah, I think, wouldn't they use that like if, if their neighboring tank was being swarmed with enemies, they'd like yeah. shoot their own tanks and stuff? Probably, yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I think Dan was telling me about that a while ago. It's called scratching your back. Scratching, scratching your back. Scratching your back. <laughs> <laughs> you scratch my back. Right. <laughs> 
Another technique they used was called the thunder run. I overheard you talking about this and I'm curious as to what that is. So originally they would have a couple strings of soldiers walking along with um, uh, sweeping out mines sure. with metal detectors, but that was too dangerous because right. I mean you're just walking along, it's a slow process. So the patent tank was really durable and could really take a pounding. So if it ran over a landmine, it might lose a road wheel or two and break the tracks and just repair it. And it would, it would hardly ever take damage enough to decommission that tank. And you actually, on this model, it's oh, a yeah. fairly detailed bottom. Almost forgot about that. Yeah. So the, the bottom of the hull is sloped. It looks like a boat. So that would be good at deflecting mines as they run over it. Right, that's cool. But yeah, so that's, I thought that was a cool detail that you added onto this kit. Normally we have the, the bottom and it's just yeah. studs down or whatever. Or not, not down. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's inverted, yeah. D studs. D studs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I got that idea from yeah. Dan's Payfock, how he built it upside down, had it smooth oh, yeah. and tiled on the bottom. Yeah. So I decided to do the same thing with the patent tank. Cool. So it's built inverted to start and then studs on top after that. I got the suspension right. Have you showed him the cool feature yet? Oh, okay, we were, I was waiting for this. <laughs> this kind of like blew my mind, but you ready, cameraman? Bam! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> turning turret. So there's a little geared, geared up mechanism back there. You can just turn the turret, you know, 360. It's tons of fun. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's cool. <laughs> just driving along. This would be like really cool for like stop motion, but not stop motion, but live action. Live action, yeah. <laughs> Opposite of stop motion. Uh, yeah, as as semi working suspension, that's not really anything new for us. Sure. But yeah. it does have it. Thunder run, so they would just yeah they would full speed. <laughs> yeah, down the road. Would. So the tank had a top <laughs> speed of thirty miles an hour, and they would go down the road. They would line up two tanks side by side, two patents side by side. One track would be on the shoulder of the road, then two in, in okay. the tar section of the road yeah, yeah. to better you know find the mines. And yeah, they would just go full, full speed, and full speed, take out all the mines, and because it was a lot faster, <laughs> let's go as fast as they could, as long as they could, <laughs> clear the way for the soldiers. That sounds incredibly sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, just driving over a road like normal is what they would do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's also a rack on the back, mm -hmm. rack on the back, to put um, suitcases, briefcases, whatever, you know, beer cooler, <laughs> beer coolers. Whatever tile. stuff you want. So I left studs available on the tops of the fenders. Sure. I did have it tiled, but I wanted the playability. So yeah. when you buy this tank, you can modify it. You can put whatever junk, because they would just pack these things full of stuff, sandbags. Um, no two tanks were really yeah. like, no. tons of random stuff in the back. So. Yep. So we're curious to see what you guys come up with. So yeah. please modify our stuff, make cool designs. Yeah, it's it's just a, load I up. love seeing when people modify yeah. our kits, just changing stuff up, even different colors or different camo schemes, like super mm -hmm. cool stuff. So. Yep. Awesome. Well, this tank turned out really great. I love this playability of this. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll see this on some other ta tanks in the future, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh oh. -uh. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is the M thirty-eight forty-eight. M forty-eight. M forty-eight patent by Brickmania, designed by Apprentice Master Builder. <laughs> oh, builder now. Oh, wait, wait, what are you now? I'm a builder now. We just regular builder. Yeah. <laughs> builder level builder? I guess. <laughs> Cody Ocell. Cool, that's the show. Thank you for watching. You know they drifted tanks in Vietnam? Oh! Oh, <laughs> I pulled it back. <laughs> Oh, that's the Saigon drift. The Saigon drift. <laughs> <laughs>